Okay, let's come into mountain pose to start with. Ankles, knees, hips, shoulders lined up. Keep your core active, your sitting bones down, your shoulder blades down, but your crown reaching up so that spine gets a nice and lengthy. Spread out your toes, relax your arms, and take a moment to breathe and focus inward. Exhale any stress and tension. And then inhale, bringing your arms to shoulder level. Exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale out to the front, keep your shoulders down. And then exhale the hands behind you. Just clasp your fingers together, press them down, and lift your heart. So upper body back, bend, stretching through the spine. And then pivot over as you exhale. Hands coming up, head down. Move your chin around, release your neck a little more. Lift your sitting bones with the back of your legs stretching. And then knees slightly bent, chin slightly in. Work your way from the bottom of the spine all the way up into a back bend. Chest high, head back, shoulders down. Take a few breaths there, just stretching through the spine. And then inhale upright. And notice how your body starts warming up a little bit. And we'll do that again. Arms and shoulder level, hands to your heart, stretch to the front, and clasp your hands the opposite way behind you. Lift your heart again, stretch the spine, spread your toes, and then pivot at your hips open. Exhale all the way down as deeply as you'd like to go today. And again, just release any tension, any tightness in the neck, in the shoulders. And then inhaling, work your way back up. And again, chest high into a back bend as you stretch. Remember, don't lift your chin too high. Keep stretching through the back of your neck. And inhale upright, release your arms. Take a moment, just feeling again as that energy starts floating. Side stretches, so let's bring the arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. Pass the hands and clasp them, bring the arms back by your ears. Stretch everything straight and keep facing forward as you lean to the side. Push the foot you're leaning away from down and out through the head and hands. Take a moment and breathe, make sure you're not leaning forward. And then inhale back to the center and switch the other hand to the front. Again, arms by your ears, toes spread out, everything facing the front, lean to the other side. Stretch through the head and fingertips and down to the foot. Feel those ribs stretch, breathe into it, and inhale again, coming up, releasing the arms. Take a moment, feeling those sides a little more expanded. And it's time for our twist. So remember, base of the skull, base of the spine need to stretch apart so the bones have a room to twist. Palms dip up at shoulder level, hands above your shoulders, clasp your elbows. And again, arms by your ears, shoulders, and sitting bones down, crown high, stretch the spine apart, and exhale, either direction to twist. Take a breath. Exhale over. And just take a few moments breathing as you're in that twist world again. Lengthen through your spine. Keep your arms by your ears and your weight on both feet. And as you come up, breathe in and lift your heart. Drop the shoulders, pull the elbows back. You're in the upper body only for your back bend. Remember. Stretch the spine, and then inhale upright, exhale around to the center, switching your arms to balance things out. Arms by your ears and stretching the spine, exhale to the opposite side. Another breath, exhale open. And again, just deepen as far as you'd like, and take a few moments to breathe, feeling the chest. And on an inhalation, come up into your upper body back bend, lifting your heart. Stretch all the way through the spine, relaxing. 
Inhale, upright, exhale around to the center. Shoulders down, fingertips up into extended mountain. Take a moment there, spreading your toes, sinking evenly into your feet. And then swan dive, arms at shoulder level, pivoting at your hips, come parallel to the floor. Stretch it out. And then drop in the red doll, just hanging. You can bend your knees slightly if you want to, or just keep them straight and stretch the back of your legs a little bit more. Pull in a little deeper with your hands behind your calves if you'd like. And then hands back to the center. And roll your way one more time back into mountain pose. As you get back into mountain pose, just take a moment, feel the spine a little bit more activated, and let your shoulders relax. And then turn your backs of your hands toward your body and bring your hands up along your sides. And then as they get toward your face, turn the palms in and extend up. Turn the palms out, coming all the way down and down. Same thing, inhaling all the way up, Palms toward each other, turn the arms out, all the way down. Just like swimming, kind of a breaststroke. And release. Back of mountain pose again, just feel the sides a little more open. Roll the shoulders back and down a couple of times and stretch your ground. Take a moment and breathe. And then we're going to clasp the hands behind and press them to the floor. So just keep the heels and the palms apart this time, shoulder blades down, and press the fingers down as you clasp them. Feel the chest expand. Notice what's going on across your shoulders. And then release that ankle. Move your fingers one position over, and again, keep the heels of the palms apart and press down. And again, notice your shoulders, what's happening all the way across your upper body. Keep your hips over your ankles. And then again, release the hands. Go back to your first class, and this time, heels of the palms together and press those hands toward the floor. Notice what's different as you do that. It's a little bit more intense across that upper chest area as you open into that slight back and pressing those hands toward the floor. And again, release the hands, clasp the other way, heels with the palms together, and then again, press down. Once again, just noticing how that upper body changes as you do it. That's your yoga, noticing the difference between the things we do. And then releasing your arms completely back into mountain pose. Again, notice your arms, your chest, your shoulders, whatever's going on through your whole body. And then hands to your heart. We'll look at them, bringing your hands toward the ceiling. Keep looking at your thumbs as you bring your hands back into that back bend. Exhale, follow your hands down, pivoting over into right. Hands up on your, on your shins under your knees for your halfway up stretch. Spread out your toes. Press the palms gently into your shins, elbows, knees, and spine straight. Stretch it out. And then exhale and release. Tuck your chin. Push your hands down toward the floor a little bit extra. And then a roll up from the bottom of your spine into mountain pose once again. Take a moment, feel your shoulders, relax your arms, and then the backstroke and swimming, bringing the arms in close to your ears as they come up in the right. Feel your whole body moving. And just notice how those shoulders are working. And then bring both arms up, push one side high, come up on the opposite toe, lifting the heel, side to stretch, the foot stays flat. Push your head and hand to the ceiling, push down into that foot that's flat. 
Feel the ribs side expand and shoulder open. Exhale that side down, other one up. And again, lift the heel on the other foot. Stretch out through the head, through the fingertips. Feel your whole body moving. And then both feet down, both arms up. Clasp your hands and press the palms toward the ceiling. Shoulder, shoulder blade down. Sitting bones toward the floor as well. And palms and head reaching up. Take a moment there, feel your body. And then bring one elbow down, the other one across. Push it back up. Switch your palm hands so that the other fingers outside. And again, press the palms up. Everything straight in your body. Exhaling, bringing the elbow across. And still pushing out through your hands, bring it up, but shoulders are where? Toward your waist. And then swan dive forward, separating your hands, come parallel to the floor, stretch things out. And then lengthen your spine, we're gonna twist. So just bring one hand down and the other one up. And then pivot back to the center. And keep the arms as much right across from each other as you can as you pivot to the opposite side. And again, back to the center. Shoulder blades towards your waist, sitting bones and crowns spread apart. And then pivot up, arms toward the ceiling, hands overhead, and to the heart. And come into mountain pose. Just notice what was going on through your shoulders throughout that practice. Roll the shoulders back and down a couple of times. Spread out your toes and bring your arms to shoulder length. Thumbs inside, clap your feet, fingers around to make a gentle fist. Turn one up and one down and push out through the fists. And then rotate the one that was up down, the one that was down up. And just keep doing that, turning one up and one down. Pushing it, keeping the crown reaching high, keeping that core activated, the rest of the body in mountain pose as you push out through those fists. And then bring the lower arm along with the fist as you turn, and then the upper arm. You feel the whole arms turning. And then really get the shoulders involved. So pull the shoulders forward as you push the fist toward the floor and the other way as you go back. And just let those shoulders kind of give you a good massage across that upper back and shoulder area. Pushing out through the fists, just moving those shoulders, feeling what's going on across the whole shoulder area. Push it, reach the crown. And then releasing the shoulders, just turning the arms. Notice what's different. And then releasing the upper arms and the lower arms, just turning the fists. And then both fists down, push way out, spread the fingers, stretch it out, push the hands up, fingers up. Palms out. And again, a little twist. So spread that spine apart as you turn to the front, one side, one hand to the front, the other one back, and then back to the center, and then the other. Keep the arms at shoulder level throughout, keeping that spine open so it can twist. And again, turning back to the center, keep pushing those palms away. Spread those fingers a little bit more. And then shake it out. And release. Hands to your heart. Inhale the fingers toward the ceiling. Look at them as you pull back into the back bend. Exhale, follow your hands down into the back bend. Hands up under your knees on your shins for a halfway up stretch. Spread your toes, the length in your spine. And then bend your knees coming to the floor into child's pose transition. 
So hips back on your heels, hands, palms up, forehead to the floor. And again, shoulders are just relaxing down, let it happen. And exhale on your tension. And bring your hands up to the front. You're going to pivot up, bring your knees a hip distance apart. Your elbows and shoulders lined up, coming into table position. So get those ribs up, supporting your low back. And then we're going to slide the hands forward, coming onto the elbows with the forearms on the floor. So we're going to do a couple of things here. First, we're going to move the right hand behind the left elbow. And then push your hips slightly back toward your heels. And then slide the left hand forward. Spread the fingers, plant the palm. And then as you exhale, bring your forehead down toward your forearm. Or all the way to the floor if that works for you. And then keep pushing the hip back, hips back a little further toward your heels so you really feel that shoulder open a little bit more. Give it a good stretch as much as your body wants. Remember, personal practice, what's right for you. Just breathe into it and relax. Let the whole shoulder keep opening. Exhale, many stress. And then on an inhalation, pivot your head back up. Bring the elbow back where it started and the other hand back out to the front. So feel the difference in your shoulders. And of course, we'll do that to the other side. So left hand behind the right elbow. Hips sink back a little bit. Feel the shoulders start opening. Slide that right hand forward. Spread the fingers. Plant the palm. Keep it where it is. As you exhale, the hips back. And the forehead down toward your arm or further toward the foot. Again, take a breath and relax through the shoulder and as you push your hips back toward your heels. Take a breath or two, relax into it. Let's let that shoulder sink. And then inhale, coming up, bring the elbow back in place and the other hand out in front. And again, the hips are up slightly, and we're going to slide the chest forward toward your hands. You can bring it all the way down to the floor if you like, and keep your puppy tail up in the air. This one's called puppy. So it's a kind of easy version of down dog. Take a moment and breathe. Just let those shoulders do a little extra work there, supporting. And then push back all the way towards your heels. Let both arms open at the shoulders, at the armpits. Plant the palms. Just keep sinking the hips back. And again, bring the forehead down toward the floor. Wisdom pose. Take a moment and breathe. Forehead touching if you can. And then sliding the hands back. Sit on your heels. And come into stout positions. Bring the legs out to the front, feet hip width apart, pressing out through your heels, up with your toes. Take a moment there, roll the shoulders back and down, and relax. Take a moment, breathing. Feel that core active. Make sure your spine is nice and straight and open as you're in that position. And then bring your chin into your throat center and just let the back of your neck stretch. Shoulders, shoulder blades down towards your waist, sitting bones slightly behind you. And the arms can be on your lap or up your sides, palms up if you like. And just take a moment to breathe there, relaxing. And then for a little extra stretch, bring one hand at a time to the back of your head, but don't press. Just add a little weight. Exhaling, just letting that neck get a little extra stretch as you do that. Take a moment and breathe. Keep noticing how your neck changes as you exhale. Make sure your spine is staying straight up and then right at your neck. And then releasing your hands wherever you prefer them. Take your chin straight. 
And then lift it a little bit, but keep stretching through the back of your neck. Take a moment and breathe, stretch it out, lift your chin maybe a little bit more, but remember, keep stretching the back of your neck. Move your jaw around a little, tightening your throat. Feeling that full face moving around. And then release your jaw back to neutral and tip your head back into its upright position. And we'll just do the sides of the shoulders next. So if you want to stay in staff position, you can do that. Or you can come into a cross leg position if you'd like to do that for a moment. And take a breath or two, just relaxing the shoulders down. Exhale, keep both shoulders even. Bring one ear over toward the side, toward that shoulder. Feel the stretch begin on the opposite side. Just relax into it, breathe, let it stretch. Take the hand you're tipping toward and bring it to the outside of your head. Again, don't press, just add a little weight, giving a little more stretch to that outside of the neck and shoulder. Exhale, feel it relax a little bit deeper. If you love it, you can bring your hand to the floor, either palm down or fingertips down, whatever works for you. And as you press into that hand, you may feel that stretch along that shoulder and neck area intensify a little bit. But remember, don't push with the hand on your head. Just let it happen. Always let your muscles relax and go as far as they want to go. And then releasing your hands back down, tip your head upright. And of course, we're going to switch the legs so that we can have the balance of our knee. And we'll do the opposite side. So tip your ear to the other side. Again, keep both shoulders down. Don't let one of them hunch up or both of them. Neither of them hunch up. Just keep them going toward the floor. And again, the side you're tipping toward, just bring that hand up as you relax, letting that give a little extra stretch. Breathing as you exhale, just let it release and relax. Feel the ear maybe go a little lower toward your shoulder. And if you feel like a little bit more stretch would be useful, hand your fingers to the floor. Exhale. Keep relaxing on those exhalations, letting your head maybe deepen a little further to the side. You're going to just let it happen, don't force it. No pressure on that hand on your head. And again, on an exhalation, release your hands and tip your head back that way. Feel your body a little bit more limber and stretch the crown all the way toward the ceiling. Exhale, turn it up toward one side. Just the neck and chin moving, not the rest of your body. Take a breath, just looking toward the back, backing out of the body. And back to the center. One more switch for our legs. And we'll stretch again, getting that spine nice and open, especially through the neck as you turn your chin and look to the opposite side, or maybe a little bit behind you. Take a breath, relax into it. And again, back to the center. Take a moment, feeling that shoulder area a little bit more activated. And we're going to come into staff position with the feet at the end of the mat, using your core for support. And then roll slowly down onto the floor. And as you get all the way down, just take a reclined integration moment. Let your shoulders relax down and your whole body release into that surface beneath you. We're going to do a little bridge. So our shoulders are going to support us, not our neck. Hands next to you, palms down, sitting bones slightly towards your heels. Press the back gently down as you draw your heels right next to your sitting bones, knees straight up, hip width apart. So we're going to keep the knees hip width apart throughout. 
And we're going to let the shoulders relax for a moment as we get ready for our bridge. So press your back gently down. And this is going to be a little different from what we usually do. We're going to do a physical therapy version of the bridge. We're going to inhale and then exhale as you bring your hips up. So just coming into your bridge position, way evenly into your feet, knees hip width apart, making sure that you're not spreading them apart or sinking them in toward each other, and just letting your shoulders support you. The arms have no pressure in them in this version. And just get that navel really activated toward your spine, exhaling and intensifying that hip lift. Take a few moments there, just feel your body. Notice your legs, notice your shoulders, stretch your neck, make sure you're not leaning on it. Back of the head on the floor. Take another breath. And then release, coming all the way back down. As you get back to the mat with your hips, just relax completely. Exhaling tension. And then bring your hands to T position, palms up or down. We'll do our bent knee twist. So again, just pressing your back gently down, lift your feet off the floor, knees hip width apart. Exhale, roll the knees to one side and turn your head toward the opposite side. Again, as much of a twist as your body needs and wants today, knees can go all the way down or you can put some padding on even if you want them to be less intense in that lower back twist. And turning for that neck area twist only if your neck needs it. And make sure those shoulders stay down so the middle of is nice and twisting. Now, if you like the lower back twist, you can bring your knees up toward your elbow. Or you can extend the legs out straight. And that will give you a little bit more work through that lower back area in your twist. Only if you want to do it. Take a breath. Shoulders pressing down. Whichever version you're in. Exhale and release. And then pulling your heels back toward your hips, roll onto your back, getting ready to twist to the opposite side. Take a moment to breathe and exhale right at hip level, bringing those knees to down toward the floor as far as they want to go. Turn your head toward that opposite arm. Again, staying there if that's enough for you, having if you need to, going into your twist for your neck, for your low back, and of course the middle back. And again, if you like the lower back twist, you can bring the knees toward your elbow, getting a little more intense. So you can extend the legs straight toward your hand. And again, go as far as you'd like, keep those shoulders down. Keep your head turning as much as it wants and needs to. And don't forget to exhale in any tension. Breathing deep, letting your body relax. And then bringing your heels back toward your hips. Roll onto your back, bring your feet to the floor. Slide you out, bring your legs out into corpse position. Hands turning palms up away from your hips slightly, and bring those shoulder blades down toward your waist and into the mat. Feel that heart open a little bit more. Let the shoulders release and relax, keeping those palms up. Toes toward each other gently, and then just let the lower body completely relax. Deep breaths in. And exhale, and just let your body grow heavy and sink into that earth support beneath you, letting your body go completely. No tension, just let it relax. Shoulders releasing, body softening. Just let Mother Earth support you completely. Breathing and relaxing. And as your body relaxes, just release thoughts of your body from your awareness. 
As those thoughts release, know that other thoughts will come to you. Let those thoughts go as well. No need to remember the past or anticipate the future. Let the thoughts drift in and out as easily as you like. Deepening your awareness into that peace within. Breathing, letting the thoughts flow away without attention. Filling your body with awareness of the peace. Filling your mind with awareness of the peace. Just taking a few moments being peace. And if that relaxation feels good and you have time to keep relaxing, take all the time you have. If it's time, though, to get ready for the rest of your day, be enjoying energy and awareness with the breath back to the moment, to the room, to your body. And as you breathe more deeply, begin moving your body gently, however it feels right for you today. Moving those arms and shoulders, breathing, stretching, whatever feels right for you. And when you're ready for that final yoga hug of appreciation, sitting bones toward your heels, draw your heels up toward your heart, or your heels toward your hips and knees up toward your heart. Wrap your arms around, give yourself that appreciative yoga hug. Let your body know you appreciate its yoga work today and the work your body does for you every day. Bring your feet to the floor and your head down, and roll to the side, sitting back up when you're ready to. Take a moment to breathe. Relax those shoulders. Thanks for joining me.